And somewhere along the line, even that basic need got corrupted, probably around the time of Jack the Ripper. Now that is the, the dawn of sex crimes investigation. Uh, so, how about for our next assignment, you guys figure out why Jack the Ripper did what he did from a Jungian perspective. All right, see you all next week. I even want to come back next week. Well, you can guest lecture anytime you want to. <laughs> okay, thank you. Once I find Maddie Flynn. It's the missing girl. Yeah, Carisi said that you saw her on the way home from the baptism. Are you okay? Not really. She was wearing one just like this. You're not taking that off until she comes home. Any leads? Carisi told you about the sex dolls? Yeah. Th did you find out who had access to Maddie's image? Teru is hitting a dead end on the mother's Instagram. How many dolls were in that warehouse? A few dozen. So there's no saying how many others are out there. Right, but one was used on a movie set as a prop. Right, but nobody on that movie set had a record. Nobody had, nobody was on the sex registry. And there was no DNA on it. No, there's no indication that that doll was used as anything other than a prop. And you're tracking the other, the other buyers on that list who maybe weren't using the doll as prop. A case of criminal sexual escalation? Most porn works that way, doesn't it? Sometimes you smoke a cigarette and a year later you're smoking two packs a day. Because you need it to get that high. Some pedophiles, they can't. They can't always control themselves. So you're thinking what I'm thinking. Our perp is on that buyer's list. Our perp? You're the one that's got to find him. I'm glad if I could help. Don't make me miss you more than I already do. See you around, Professor.